flow. And this video, I will show you how to use custom fragmentation type. And using uh, this fragmentation type, you can define your own point cloud for fragment uh, position. So uh, if you are not okay with just regular or you know, with its center bias property, you can use your own, you can generate your own point cloud and use it instead. And there are three ways to define this point cloud. First one is children transform. This example, I will show you how to use it. So in this case, it use all children uh, as a point cloud. So I have here four empty game object only, only have just this transform. I can move them. And you can see that there is also this point cloud can be used uh, as volume points and just well as this, as point cloud. In this case, I'm using volume points, which means this will be the points around which I will generate point cloud. And using amount here, I can increase the amount of point cloud I will have at the end. So you can see there also enable this preview. So every green dot here represents a point in point cloud. And you can see uh, my total amount right now is about uh, about 600. It's not accurate value, it's just rough representation of amount of points. And you can see that I can move every point and it moves its own point cloud. And I also can change this radius like to make, make them less, the uh, spread radius or make it bigger. So let me fragment and now I can see I created fragments using my own point cloud. So in this way, you can create more tiny fragments exactly where you want and uh, create as many this uh, children transform. So you can, let's say, duplicate some object here, one empty object and move it here. So here, my next uh, small point cloud, my local point cloud can delete and fragment again. So I will have more tiny fragments here now. So in this way you can, well, generate any kind of uh, point cloud along some path or maybe uh, some other tricky way and uh, slice and fragment your object and exactly where you want it to be fragmented and uh, keep some areas from fragmentation. So we will have big fragments at some, at some uh, points and uh, much less fragments in other areas. So let me select and delete. And uh, also uh, it's possible to use, instead of volume points, you can use actual uh, object transforms as point cloud. So in this case, you will see there's only five points right now. If I will fragment, all I will get all this, well, uh, every point represent a position of fragment. Of Voronoi fragment. So this is the easiest way to create your own uh, fragments exactly where you want. And well, there's also size. You can change your preview size, or you can disable it if you don't want to. And next example, I'm using transform array. And in this case, as you see, object uh, there there are no any children, but instead I define here transform array, and here in this arise. I define this transform with four, as I can set it to five. And uh, here's my points. Again, I can duplicate some point and then go to this object and define it as another element here. So I will have another point in my point cloud. And again, I can fragment my object, create fragments near this point. Uh, so in this way, using this transform array, you don't need to have any children. You can just use any kind of any object uh, and just def you need to just define it here in this list and then this array. And then it will be used as uh, its position as point cloud. And next way is using this vector three array. Uh, this one. So again, uh, in this case, you can basically just manually define exact uh, world points where you want your uh, point in point cloud to be. So again, you can see you can control it. You can add another one. 
and obviously this is not something you need to uh, apply manually but uh, maybe you have some script which will do this for you and uh, it will use some maybe some other object or as a source for your point cloud so but well there's just another way instead of using any kind of game objects like previous two examples you can directly define this uh, point cloud here using this vector free uh, property and set here source to vector free array so again uh, just fragment your object exactly where you want and basically that's it uh, just some more advanced way for fragmentation for users who won't have more control over fragment distribution so I guess that's it with custom fragmentation type. Uh, thank you for watching.